Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, thanks for tuning in. This is Solace, bringing you another toy review. This is Samus. I apologize for the previous video's audio quality. I had the wrong microphone on. Hopefully this one is better. Um, let me go ahead and just start off with her accessories. Hand rack. This lovely display of dismembered hands. Plug right into her left arm. Unfortunately, the right arm is only arm cannon. So you only get these. You get the thumbs up slash thumbs down hand. And all the articulation is the same. In and out. That's it. And of course, when it's in the arm, side to side. Thumbs up, thumbs down hand. Closed fisted hand. Calm open hand and an open splayed hand and a holding things hand, but she comes with nothing to hold. Kind of pointless, but a great addition nonetheless. You can put a you know second version zero beam saber in there and have her melee everywhere, so that's cool. Over here, we have the morph ball mode there is absolutely nothing special about this except for the detailing detailing is very spot on it's great it has a hole right here so you can plug it into the uh, Figma stand and have it you know power bouncing everywhere then she comes with optional shots. This is a double shot. And a single shot. Unfortunately, her lemons are not yellow as they should be. Doesn't matter anyway. We got the wrong Samus. <laughs> Thanks, Max Factory. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and plug that right in. As you can see, unlike D Arts Mega Man. It doesn't have a gem there, so you just pop that right in. And there you go. And then you pull the entire assembly out. And you can pop in her missile attachment. Kind of pointless since they didn't give you missiles. So, yeah. But it does look better than the standard. It does look better than the standard muzzle, so there's that. Let's go ahead and pop that back in. And of course, you know, like all Figma, she comes with a baggie. Because, you know, for some odd reason, Figmas need to carry their lunch on their names. The name there. No one will steal your PB and J, Samus. No one. No one. So there's that. And of course the Figma stand. Um, she's very limited in accessories, but you know what? It's it, it's our only articulated Samus, so what are you gonna do? So um in terms of her articulation, the same joint in her crotch is the same joint in her shoulders. So uh you get a very awesome. Let's see if we can focus there. Come on. Ah, it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, let me pop the leg off because I know all of you have that issue. It's a tri uh, a tri joint, tri ball joint. Same joint in the shoulder. Um, go ahead and show you how this works here. Just a little tiny, tiny cap there. That's all it is. Can move in and out. Can rotate all around. And then uh, you have this there, you know, for detailing. So we'll demonstrate on this side because it's a lot easier than this side because this side just pops out and it's kind of stupid but yeah you can pop her joint out completely push 
push it back in, up and down, side to side, rotate. All right, knee joint, that's as far as it goes. Kind of lame. I wish it went up all the way, but it's still pretty good for a single joint. Ankle joint goes up that high. Can also go forward. And she has a toe joint. So that's always fun, right? That's fun. And an ankle swivel, because ankle swivels are great. Get him get her into some wide legged pose Metroid shooting roundup. Anyway, same with the gun arm and the hand. That is that's as far as you can get with the gun or arm cannon. And that's as far as you can get with the regular arm. Of course the wrist can rotate and pivot back and forth. Torso is extremely limited. You can only go. Let's see here. You can only go that far forward and that far back. Now you can pop it halfway out. Not put it in all the way. And then it give you more clearance so you can look down more. Which is great. Now for the shoulders. You get a pseudo bicep swivel. You can go that far back, that far forward, that far up. But the shoulders can move independently because of that uh, tri joint. So that's that's really cool. Of course, you can do a full 360. Um, the head is on this massive ball joint, followed by a Figma joint below that cap, so you can turn it from side to side, uh, kind of up and down to help, you know, alleviate whatever, whatever ails you. So she can, you know, look up and down, tilt her head side to side. And then, you know, still manage to use the actual ball joint to rotate completely to the left or to the right. I mean, she's very limited. I'm still holding out, you know, for pipe dreams of of when uh, Bandai is going to release their Metroid 1 Samus, because you know it's inevitable. When Bandai does something, they... They start with the first game for some reason, um, which is great. So here's to hoping they make you know a just regular power suit, non Varia suited Samus. So uh, what do I think of this figure? Uh, Max Factory. That's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, and the box. You can um, punch that out and put that on a DI stage if you so choose. I choose not to. And uh, thanks for watching.